Hi guys, I'm Holly, and I'm here to talk about prehistoric, or better known as Paleolithic cave paintings. So let's dive in. There's almost 350 Paleolithic cave paintings in the world, most found in France and Spain. Today we're going to focus on Lascaux in the south of France. In 1940, in the French countryside, four boys were playing in a field with their dog. When the dog fell in a hole, the boys climbed in, climbed in to rescue him. As they searched for him, they explored the dark and mysterious caves, but what they found was more than the dog. With a flickering lantern, they were able to see the markings on the walls around them. They had found the caves of Lascaux. Years and years ago, people had found these caves and saw them as a blank canvas to paint upon. They drew horses, bison, zebras, and bulls, and lions. They made abstract markings with their hands. They painted human-like figures. They wanted to paint the world around them. These paintings were removed from civilization. For years, they were untouched, hidden away, preserved by their separation. These boys were probably the first people to see these great works in a long time. The paintings had been sealed off from the world for thousands of years. When word got out, scientists, archaeologists, anthropologists swarmed to France to seek out the paintings in the caves. Hoping to examine this long-lost treasure, they were able to find out some details about this mystery. The scientists inferred that these early people used crushed rocks, clay, and flowers to create the different colors. And to paint, they used an animal bones or sticks with hair attached, like paintbrushes. In some cases, they used their hands, like finger painting. They tried so hard to figure out why these prehistoric people painted. Even with all these theories, we really don't know. Some think it was a way of telling stories. Others think it was a ritual hunters would do before they left for the pursuit. Or it was simply even a guide how to hunt. Some think it was a religious work, that people worship the paintings. Even though we don't know much, we can assume that it was used as a means to communicate. By the 1950s, people swarmed to the south of France. Lascaux became a massive tourist attraction. People were fascinated by these paintings. They wondered why they were there. What did they mean? Now it's your turn. Do you think these paintings are realistic or abstract? What do you think it tells you about early man? Unfortunately, historians and scientists can no longer study the caves of Lascaux. After thousands of visitors, the paintings have had too much exposure to the elements. Mold has grown, the paintings have been worn down, and as of 2008, the entrances to Lascaux have been permanently closed. Cave paintings have not completely disappeared, though. The caves of Lascaux have influenced even modern art. Look at this work by Pablo Picasso after he went to Lascaux. Do you see how he was influenced by the Hall of the Bulls? You can try it, too. Look at some work a few students and I have done as we try to create our very own cave paintings.
you so much for joining me today.